What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Yeah, Chanel says they announce infinite life. I announce infinite trouble. Yeah, infinite's not a it, it, like you can't announce infinite. You actually have to say a number. You say like I I gain one million life or two million life, and then your opponent can say, okay, I'll attack for two million and ten damage or whatever. I'm taking Mox Sapphire as our first pick. I like a Tundra, but we're gonna take Moxie Boy. Are you trying to pay February's rent in March? I'm trying to pay my rent whenever I can pay it. So. I mean, if I don't fill out the February rent, I'm just going to keep it going till the next month. That's just how, that's just how we're going to do. Interesting. What's going to go best with a Mox Sapphire? Tendrils of Agony. And we can get that turnabout on the wheel. Phantasmal Image. Oh, we need to pay rent? Hmm. <laughs> oh man, Badger when he gets in one of his his one of his donate his generous donate moods. Oh boy. Uh I just now it's more damage than that. Yeah, you yeah, that I mean technically correct. Right. Like that is how that's the only way, like if you're capable of going infinite, like that's that's how it would how how it would go down. Or we can just stick with the phantasmal image, because it's nice and safe. But where does that leave us? I took the tendrils. Yogmoth's will. I would love to take preordain, but we're going to will here, guys. Okay. We're doing it. We are doing it. Here's a Thassa's Oracle, which is actually pretty decent. Let's take a, an, or, an Oracle. A Thassa's Oracle. And then there was nothing. And then nothing. Actually, Dig Through Time could be fine. Marsh Flats could be fine. Like, if we're playing three colors, which are typically uh, Grixis, it could definitely get, uh, like, a Blood Crypt or a Watery Grave. I'm going to take the Dig Through Time. I think it's probably a little better for us. We'll see. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, I was, uh, I was getting crushed earlier by Floopy Minx and her Crater Hoof Behemoths, so... Badger said, on this day in 918, U.S. Army mess cook Private Albert Gitchell of Fort Riley, Kansas, becomes the first documented case of Spanish flu. Start of worldwide pandemic killing 50 to 100 million. Memories. Dan's with the sub. Thank you, Dan's. I appreciate you, buddy. You are amazing. On this day in 1669, Mount Etna in Sicily erupts in its largest recorded eruption, Killing 15,000 people. Active volcanoes scare the shit out of me. They're very frightening. I, I'm, I'm always like, uh, but can you not be active instead? Uh, okay, there's also some facts of the day. This pack is actually pretty complicated. We have Dark Ritual, Brain Freeze, and Bribery, and Demir Signet, all of which are pretty good. Bribery is just good. Like, Bribery is like, oh, cool, I can have this sub-plan. Brain Freeze is great because we have Oracle. Dark Ritual might come back, but Brain Freeze might come back, too. Interesting. I'm taking Brain Freeze and hope, hoping the Ritual comes back because, like, nothing's really been taken so far. That's that's super stormy. Um, we're going to take Goblin and Electromancer. Okay, um... One of the world's leading experts on dog-human interactions is Dr. Sandra Barker. <laughs> See, that's funny. That's comedy. Uh, second fact of the day, MIT offers a course in turning science fiction technologies into reality. That's, that's Shut pretty up sweet. Take that my makes money. sense. Badger with the, the donation, donation, rent donation. Thank you, buddy. Oh, my God. You're freaking amazing, dude. Last fact of the day. I'm still reading your facts today. Hold on. About a third of people sneeze when they look at a bright light, although this has been studied since Aristotle first recorded it. No one knows why. I actually, yeah, I always look at this. I look at the the big LED light whenever I have to stream. Sneeze, not stream. <laughs> I say that because I'm. it happens when I'm streaming. We're going to take High Tide over Vampiric Tutor. Vampiric Tutor is fairly replaceable with High Tide. Is not. Eh, take fire ice sure that's a good one. Oh, the turnabout came back just like you do with high tide everyone loves it there's a theory about people finding jobs that fit their names it's called nomative determinism is that true and eh, brutality seems good here sure 
Why aren't folks helping to ban? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Badger, I appreciate you so much. Oh, the dark ritual comes back. That's exactly what we wanted. Good grief. Good grief. This is looking. This is a beautiful looking, you know. The dankest of Richard Badger is legit 100% MVP. Also, Shut me and Badger. Up, take my money. Her with five rent bucks. I appreciate you guys. Also, Badger and I are Facebook friends, and Badger always posts the uh, the most ridiculous uh, deadlifting. Is it called? It's called deadlifting, right? The most ridiculous deadlifting videos. He's like, "Well, just I just got four hundred thousand pounds above my head today." Oh, Wheel of Fortune is nice. And I'm like, "Wow, that's." Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, like Badger said recently, it's like the hard work's starting to pay off. And I was like, dude, it's been paying off for like months now. Oh, time spiral? Oh, my God. We just have it all. So this, I mean, we obviously have everything we need for a fantastic storm deck here. So, um, I'm looking forward to the, to the, oh, the one, two that results here. Wow. Time spiral, tendrils, turnabout, Yawgmoth's will, wheel of fortune, brain freeze, high tide and dark ritual. I don't even know. Like that's very good. All we need is some lands. And so Magic Online's like, nah. You can't have that. Oh, Mind's Desire? Sure, I'll take a Mind's Desire. <laughs> Why not? Chromox is fine, but. I mean, Wandering Fumarole seems fine here. We could also just take Natural Order. That would be cool. Wouldn't it? Who knows? Yeah, I mean, Fumarole's fine. It's not an island, but what can you do? Can I redeem points for a hot tub stream? Yeah, sure, go for it. I'm not sure who'll be in the hot tub, but I assume it could. I'm sure. I'm sure it could work for someone. Him to Torok. I like a him to Torok. In lieu of no lands that are actually good for us. Uh, I mean, like signets would be great, but I'm not going to take like a Boros signet. It's not really fixing. I'll just take him to Torok, I guess. Thief of Sanity is cool. Might be th I don't think it's Thief. I don't know if it's him either. Oh, boy. Whatever. Him is stronger, I think, and it's...
Dog Moss bargain, huh? How many more six drops do we need in our deck? We're going to try this option. Krark is pretty interesting. Let's try Krark in our in our storm deck. I would like an underground sea and a steam vents and a watery grave and a volcanic island. I don't think it's a lot to ask for, but you know, what do I know? Uh, Lotus Petal. I like Dryad a lot because it turns all your lands into uh, what's known as islands. Baby Krark Dude. <laughs> That's fucking solid gold, man. That is solid gold. Mm-hmm. Baby Krark. Flipping coins, dude, 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 dude. Memory jar. Let's take a jar. That's a draw seven if I ever saw one. Badger! Now you're just leaving? <laughs> Oh my god, this is unbelievable. Badger, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the support. I hope wherever you're going, you have a great time, and hopefully I'll see you later. Oh, I didn't mean to take a pack rat, but I guess we took one. Yeah, it's like expansion explosion. What time is it? Like 5 a.m.? 6 a.m.? 5.30. Is it 5.30 a.m.? Badger, appreciate it. I hope I win too, and I hope I see you later, bud. Thank you for the support. You are a wonderful human being. Baby Crook. I'm going to go to the gym. I, I fucking knew it. I was going to say it. I was like, what time is it? Is it gym time? I bet it's gym time. Keep killing it. Um, I kind of like Gilded Lotus here. Rager kind of is kind of meh, but... I'm just going to take the Lotus. Maybe we just get to a point where we can just go the Lotus something. It's a late Gonti. 4.30 p.m.? That makes way more sense than what I said. Why would I think it's 5 a.m.? Yeah, for some reason, I'm like, oh, you're in England. <laughs> no, that's not how that works. Also, bargain came back. Need to lift more things. That is the goal. Good luck, my friend. I hope you lift all the things. Wow, Mox Emerald, Treachery, a Splinter Twin, and I think that's it. And OK Guardian, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Okay, enough procrastinating. I think it's just Mox Emerald here. I mean, it's a Mox. I wish it was a on color Mox. I mean, there's a 25% chance. No, I guess it's a 50% chance. No, yes. Yes, 50% chance it would be on color. Shut up and take my money. Oh, oh, Kurt, 1569. <laughs> wow, the amount you had to donate was nice, and it made it to a 420 blaze it nice number. Yeah, all right, I'm just going to take the mocks. Hopefully the treachery comes back or the creeping tar paint, but I'm not going to hold my oh, mana drain. Yeah, that'll that'll do us. We haven't seen any lands. This is the problem with Storm is that my biggest problem I've seen is that it's really hard. My This is a personal problem, I think, is that it's really hard to balance the colors in the deck for me and then not get any of the lands that help us cast these cards in those colors. Try not to lift any weights on the way to your parking lot. In a row? Thirty-seven. My girlfriend lifted thirty-seven weights. In a row? Well, you know how it goes. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's a watery grave. We gotta pass an LED though. 
I mean, we already have Yawgmoth's will. Is that even worth it? It's got to be worth it, right? This might come back. So we're going to take the Watery Grave. And we're hoping that that LED comes back. Lotus Bloom. Seething Song, too. Yeah, I haven't seen any lands, really. Like, this has been a very minimal land. Minimal land? Minimal land? I don't know what I'm saying. Just ignore me. Common occurrence in this iteration of the QA CLF storm next to the questionable mana. I've seen a lot of people fixing stuff like mana. I mean, that's just the thing I've seen regularly in general. Because, like, the, the storm deck's also going after very coveted pieces, uh, like, you know, Underground Sea and Pyretic Ritual. Mana Flare goes quite well with Time Spiral, Turnabout. Yeah, I think we're going to go for that. And if Duress or Desperate Ritual come back, good times. Just gravy. Kerwit, I got a thousand year storm for you, buddy. I don't think we're the deck for it right now, but it, it's there. It's there. It is. We can just take Damnation. I'm gonna take Consecrated Sphinx. We all know I'm taking Consecrated Sphinx. <sighs> Duretti, Liliana, Inky. Hmm. Chart, of course. Baleful. I mean, I'm getting a lot of cards that I just like. I'm going to take... Is Chart, of course, good here? Drawing two has to be good, especially with ways to replay it. I'm really tempted to... I don't know how I feel about this guy. Okay, well, Palancron came back. Dark Petition came back as well. I don't think we need a Palancron. I think we want to have Dark Petition here. I'm actually really iffy on Krark. I mean, it seems cute, but like it also seems like on the turn you could win, you just lose by losing all the flips. All decks are thousand year storm decks, if you believe. Is that right? Well, I'll be. What a time to be alive. Yeah, obviously taking this guy. Baby Crark. Mana base is going to be a challenge here. Yeah, that's my concern. We got two lands, guys, and a Mox Sapphire. What the problem is? I mean, I'm really hoping the Lotus the Lotus Bloom comes back and that the uh, the LED comes back. That's where we want to be. Uh, pack one, pick one, Sapphire is correct. How many win cons do we have? I mean, a lot. Tendrils, Brain Freeze. We can Brain Freeze ourselves with Thassa's Oracle. Like, all, all of the relevant ones. I can also see taking Dig Through Time out if we really, really need the space. I mean, we have like three, three draw sevens here. Memory Jar, Time Spiral, and Wheel of Fortune. We also have Yawgmoth's Will. Like, this is like the penultimate storm. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lion's Eye Diamond. Yes. Excellent. Nailed it. No, no, no. Is it going to move everything? No. Okay. Oh, Gush came back. I'm a fan of a Goosh. Come on, Pyretic Ritual. Is that the card we were looking for? I don't even know. <laughs> Desperate Ritual. That's the one. We did it. So yeah, same thing. No, it's not the same. This one has Arcane. <laughs> Everybody knows you're splicing onto Arcane all the time. Nah, JK. Oh, the Tales in Your Storm came back? No respect. This is 23 and I'm pretty okay with it. I mean, we also have, like, Empty the Warrens, Gush, 
Thousand Year Storm, Dig Through Time, Karar, Kim to Torok, Inquisition. Oh, Lotus Bloom was the one, one of the ones I wanted to come back. Do we, do we need Gilded Lotus? Is that even good here? I mean, it seems rough because, like, it assumes we're like, eh, I don't think we need Gilded Lotus. Thousand Year Storm is banned in all formats. I don't, I don't think it is. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's, pretty sure it's not banned in any formats. I mean, Gush definitely feels pretty decent. Hmm. So tempting. Mine's desiring to huge fatties. I've never heard of this before. Okay, well. Then <laughs> explain to me why you never see anyone play Thousand Year Storm if it's not banned. Fuck, he's right. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Three. Four, like five, six, four, five, six. I think we actually want one more black. All the all the red is one. Actually, I think we just want one more blue. Fifteen lands, lion's eye, lotus petal, mox, mox. Yeah, let's do this. Sure. Oh boy. Um, I am going to take a screenshot first so that I know we can get for Dark Petition. We also got that Dark Ritual too, which is nice. That should help us with the black. Um, I don't know if I want to count the Mox as non-lands, simply because we're already counting Lotus Petal and Lion's Eye Diamond as non-lands, so I really don't want, like, four non-lands in addition to 17 mana. That just seems like a lot of mana sources. Um, hmm. This is a turn one Electromancer. Hmm. Is there any way to turn one mind desire here? One, two, three. No. So you can go one, two, Electromancer, Lotus Petal. Play this for three. Mana Flare. I'm just going to say no. I'm pretty sure this is not a turn two mind desire. Oh, um, against the against the planes, that feels pretty land. Nice, okay. <laughs> Old wimpy bones. <laughs> um, if we mana flare here, what do they get? Four mana. Let's find out. I mean, because then we can go this, this, into this, which is, I don't know if that's great, dude. I, I think we can just wait. I really don't think we have to do anything here. And if we get two more lands, like, we can just go, like, this land, land, mana flare, pay four, five, six. Oh, this seems pretty decent for us. Does that do anything for us? Interesting. It's 
So we pay one for ritual, it gives us three. Use this for a black. Use two for will. No, use one for will. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four. This could be like Mind's Eye for seven here, to be quite honest. Um, three, four. We're using two of it, so we have two floating. This is five. I think this is it. We need one, two. Yeah, this is it. This has to be worth it, right? We're getting the blue from Mind's Desire from Lotus Petal and Mock Sapphire. Four, five, six, seven. Um, so we can use this for three. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can actually play this. One, two, three, four, five. Because Mind's Desire. Yeah, let's do it. Empty the whole hand, I guess. Storm count of seven, boys. We haven't played a land yet. Okay. Chart, of course. Brain freeze. I think we got it. Wow. <laughs> Time spiral. <laughs> oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. All right. Oh, so we can just Wheel of Fortune, draw a bunch. <laughs> Good games. Um, yeah, let's Wheel of Fortune. Okay. <laughs> wow, what a turn two, bro. Turn three? That was turn three, wasn't it? Was that turn two? No. Okay, it was turn three. Oh, that was pretty cool. I had a good time. Dan's, are you at a point where you understand what just happened? I assume like Matthew plays enough storm decks that you're like, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. I'm going to submit. The only thing we saw was a Danto Vanguard, so. That was pretty Jeb. <laughs> like Jeb Bush. It was pretty Tito. <laughs> oh, boy. Extension enhanced? I don't even know what that means. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. If we can draw a water grave off the top, like, I can't even tell you how good that is. Okay, well. Mull to a hand that will kill on turn three. Well, that seems a little bit, uh, a little bit suspect. Okay, that's a big dude. Oh, red, huh? I think we want to keep managing until we can do just like a big turn. Oh yeah, big turn. Hey, can you imagine if Fire Ice did three damage instead? I can be just like, pew, pew, kill them both. Destroy them both. All right. Well, 
Thurman Inspector not not scaring us yet. Cracking the clue is good. Don't love it. Because, like, there's something we can cast with the mana for Mana Drain. Because of double black, double black, double black. Double black, double black. I mean, if they play, like, Hero of Blade Hold, I'm probably still going to counter it anyway. Just giving us some time, huh? Oh, it's a Resto? Yeah, that's actually fine. Imagine all the people living for today. Uh, Guild of Lotus is not in. That would be sweet, though. You may say... One of the good things about Storm is that like you're just not dead until you're actually dead. Yeah, that's fine. All these things are fine. It's a real problem. Just gonna play fast as Oracle here because I want to be able to just scry and see if I can find something. And oh boy, oh boy, no, don't like that. Three, four, five, I and mean, we have like three turns, I guess. It's not great. We're drawing high tide, which is better than the alternative when we have four islands, but. Oh, just that. Okay, that seems good for us. I mean, if I have to mana drain something, I'm fine with it now because we do have a lot of mana, but... Is it just a man? Okay. Play him as a man. You may say I'm a Mac B, but I'm not a Mac B. I mean, we could also hit, like, Mind's Desire here, which would be banging. All right, we have, like, two turns left. I might counter whatever they play. They played nothing. Oof. God, this is so ridiculous. Okie dokie. This is, this is rough right here, what we're looking at right here. All right. All right, well. Council's Judgment. Three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we're dead if we don't counter this. So that will do it. I think we go to one if we counter it, so. Oh boy, what is this? What? Oh dear. Okie dokie. Why is that still in the cube? Oh god, Lotus Petal. That actually would not have done it either. Okay. Well, mana giveth, mana taketh away. As much as I want a bunch of islands for high tide, I also really want to be able to cast my black cards. It's gonna be three island, three three swamps in our opening hand here. This is fuck this is just terrible. I think we have to keep it, but it's not great. <sighs> One, two. I think we have to ship Mind's Desire or Tendrils because I think Mind's Desire is just a I think we're just losing. <laughs> that's that's how I feel about it. This is so sad.
Seems good. I wish I lived in a snow land. In? In the land itself? Oh, big brims. That guy's going to be a problem. Eventually. Oh, no attack. I like it. Interesting. One. Does that do it? One, two. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. There are four. This, this. That seems good. I'm no expert, but... So what do we got? Three, four, five, six, seven mana, huh? If we had two islands, that'd be cool, but pretty sure we're just locked into Mine's Desiring here for six. Uh, what do we want to keep up? Anything? Doesn't matter. All right. We also could have waited. It's very possible we could have just waited a few turns. Okay. That's a ticket. That's a big item. Land is also good because now we can we can Yawgmoth until we hit Brain Freeze. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Well, we were hoping for more spells. Hmm. I guess this is actually great. We're at 20. Oh, so we just get to do it all. Okay. So this is seven. Oh, dear. Like, there's absolutely no way we lose this game, right? Eight, sixteen, twenty-four. We just go black, dark ritual for three. I mean, charter course is free right now, right? Mana flare, sure. Discard mana flare. Uh, ice. This doesn't really matter. I mean, having nine nine life to play with here means we can just look at nine more cards, and we have thirteen. So, there's no like white counter spell they could have, right? Turnabout would be cool. I don't know if there's a way we can actually do that. Lotus Petal, obviously. Um, oh, there is, actually. We just go black, blue, untap. But then we don't have a blue, so let's not fuck that up. We could turn around, we could turn about untap our artifacts. And this is 10, so we hit him for 30. We actually need one. Oh, no, we don't. We need, we have, we have brain freeze here. So we're going to go black. Ritual. Four. I guess we're just brain freezing here. Yeah, all right. I 
I mean, keep in mind, we can crack this for a red play Desperate Ritual. Oh, no, we can't. Okay, we just win the game. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, Flippy Mix, after you crush me with the uh, the cordial raid. Really appreciate it, lady. Thank you so much. Guys, remember that turn? Flippy Mix got progenitus twice in a row. That was pretty sweet. And then also uh, Crater Hoofed us twice in a row. That was good times. That was good times. All right. Well, wait, was that our turn? Was it, did we turn three kill both times? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Dang it. How do I go back to the thing? Link details? Oh, I can't return to the game. Wimpy Bones, good games. I, usually, I figured if this deck gets its mana, we'll probably be all right because we have most of the good pieces, but... I like how she got baby snake and father snake. Yeah, all all uh all all life cycles of the of the progenitus were were represented. It's very solid. Is this one, two is this is this it? One, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is this turn one mind desire for one, two, three, four. Uh I mean we're keeping. It's not even I don't know what we can draw that would make this hand better. Island's not it. I mean, I think we could just wait, right? Like, there's no reason to rush it. One of the things I'm I'm most prone to doing, which I'm really bad at, is firing off the combo too soon. Like, I think you can even argue in the last game we fired it off too soon. Like, we had no pressure, and we had at least, like, three turns to wait. But my concern is always that, like, the more turns you give your opponent... So this is one... This is... One... One, two, three, four, five, six. So we couldn't have first turned... We couldn't have turned one mind as our last turn, right? Four, five, six... Yeah, if we wait two more turns, we can brain freeze and mind's of desire. Right, you never know if they're going to play Thalia. Like, you're giving them enough mana to counterspell your stuff. Like, and see, that's fine. What I'd love to draw here... Yawgmoth's well, maybe? Okay, well, that's good, too. Good old-fashioned land. I think I think our goal is to, to next turn things. Because it gives us six total mana. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have Mind's Desire mana and Brain Freeze mana in the same turn. Yeah, I mean, if they're going to tap out for things like Wall of Omens and Elspeth, like I am. Good to, good to go. Okay. So the question is now with four cards in their hand and three mana up, do we go for it? I do not know. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. If they counter, this is going to go off for six, which is 18 cards. I'm still in a situation where I'm like, eh, there's no reason to do it. I mean, short of them Armageddoning next turn. In before the Armageddon. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Sometimes you just got to go for it, guys. Because then your opponent plays on position and you're dead. Have you ever seen a grown man birth from fake rhinos? One time. One time. The blue Armageddon that's also one-sided. A classic. Oh yeah, tap every land I got. Beautiful. Just beautiful. <sighs> yep, sounds good. Oh, 
Uh, is there a world where I can deck them? I mean, I guess it's not entirely out of the question. We can also go Mox Petal, Mox Emerald, Lotus Petal, Dark Ritual, Brain Freeze. Seething song, huh? So, Petal for Black. The problem is we need Black and Red for these things. Yeah, if your next two cards are LED, will. I mean, we haven't revealed anything yet. If I feel like we're in a position, like we just get to see more cards, like a weird mystical tutor. If they go get a counter spell, I'm probably going to scoop though. Okay. <laughs> you got it. Oh, interesting. Huh. I'm intrigued. Is that the window we need? I have secured the bag of Oreos. Was it insecure? Because that's really nice of you. Did you lift its spirits? Make it feel needed? Okay. All right. You got it. Killing it. Okay. Hmm. So we can go land, dark ritual, add a red seething song. I think this actually might do something. Okay. Do, 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 do. If they counter something, it's actually almost better for us, to be quite honest. <laughs> Are they going to commit this? Commit it to my memory. So this is three. This is going to be four, five. So it's 15 cards. We're not there yet. We're like one land away. So it's three. This is going to be four, five. 15 cards. They go to eight cards in their library. Hmm. But then they kind of let us off the hook, right? Like, So now they have seven cards, which makes Tefri worse. We're going to still draw Dark Ritual, so if they're not tapping our lands, like... Oh, yeah, they can just memory. That's, I mean, that's fine. But, like, we're not going to do anything with these cards anyway, so. Interesting. Does that do anything? Five, they have six, four, five, six, seven. We have eight. They can make a ninth guy. What do they get here? Man, this is an ordeal. Spell pierce. Sure. Yeah, four lands was definitely a lot of lands to draw. Man, you kind of wish Time Spiral was an instant sometimes, you know? Time Spiral. They can, they can spell pierce, so we just... Tap two more lands for it. Untap six. Seven, eight. I mean, we still have time is the, is the thing. The 
This is exhausting, dude. I don't actually know what we can do here, but like they're not winning yet. And we do have nine more cards than they do, so. Interesting. Well, that is definitely a card. I mean, I guess they could just get Elspeth to like 20 and then attack us for for 18 points in one turn. Soul Ring. The deck's looking sweet. That, see, that's a clock. That's a clock. <sighs> Yep, that's pretty good too. Okie dokie. Eh, I've probably seen enough. Oh god, I didn't mean to hit reveal hand. I meant to hit draw a card and then it moved, so that's cool. I love revealing my hand to my opponent when I don't have to. That's my favorite. Absolutely my favorite. Like, we just have no answer to a... Uh, to an opposition. This is why I actually have Feed the Swarm in my cube, because, like, it's just good. Like, it's just a great way to have... Like, you want a, a black way to deal with enchantments for cheap. I kind of like him to Torok, to be quite honest. Let me take out Gush. I mean, Fire Ice actually would have been decent because we can kill two tokens, which is two extra lands a turn. I don't really care about Inquisition too much because it just doesn't hit any of the things we care about, really. It doesn't hit Elspeth. It doesn't hit Opposition. It doesn't hit uh, Teferi. It doesn't hit Commit to Memory, so... I mean, Mizium Mortar is also fine, but I mean, like, um, we're never getting to six mana. Like, if they have enough creatures and an opposition, like, we're just never getting to the six mana to stop them, so. I mean, Collective Brutality also doesn't hit any of those cards either, so. I mean, it hits, collect it hits Commit to Memory, but that's pretty much it. But, like, I don't want to bring in Collective Brutality just to hit a... Uh, commit to memory like it's kind of meh where are the creatures for your magic the gathering deck I didn't bring them this time I'm letting a friend borrow them what's the hold up I got a golem electromance I got two creatures I actually don't know my second creature oh that's his oracle that's his oracle. There's a gerblin right there. It's true. There is a gerblin. The turn before we wait one more turn is the turn we should go off. It's, it's fair. I mean, yeah, in hindsight, like having going going uh mox ritual. Uh, whatever else we had, Mind's Desire for four is probably just fine. It's it's literally better than getting locked out of the game, but also we weren't expecting opposition, so what can you do? Thank you. Oh, Kim Possible with the resub. I appreciate you. Thank you. Really, really appreciate the support. I will say yes. Well, this hand seems bad. I can't keep two double black cards in this in this monstrosity. Oh, um, you know what? Let's give it up. Give it. Let's give it our best. We can ship a memory jar. If we can just draw an island, that'd be cool, because then I can just cast this. I want to save this for, obviously, two, three, four. 
Like if we can go brain freeze, Yogg Moth will brain freeze. That seems pretty good. I feel like I'm actually very tempted to play 41 cards and just add one more land. This is a turn one win if you had different cards, buddy. It's a story of my life. And if someone else was playing the deck. But yeah, once you narrow down those two factors, it's we're basically crushing. All right. Ancestral vision, you got it. Buddy, you don't know about you don't know about me. Three, four, five, six, seven. So we can play this, go brain freeze. No. We need like a bunch of lands actually. I'm just gonna pass here. Dark Ritual would be clutch here. That'd be bananas. What are the chances our opponent has a force? I have no idea. A thousand. Dark Ritual. Another land is actually pretty decent. So what is this? Four mana. We'll go Lion's Eye. One, two, brain freeze, right? I think we need one more mana. Because we need initially five. Yeah, all right. Sure. Land. Dark ritual. Fire ice. I don't think that's it. That's pretty good, though. Let's drop the ice, play the land. Okay. Well, got a free turn here. Now, if we hit a land or any, like, yeah, that seems fine. Okay. Two mana, we know they have spell pierce in their deck. I think that actually does it because now we can go brain freeze for one will for two <sighs> I mean we just gotta hope they don't have spell pierce right like that's the that's the thing we're afraid of here one two we brain freeze for four I think we'll wait till next turn. And, and Midian is right. We should definitely high tide off the mocks. I don't think they're going to have an answer for this. Oh, now they might. Actually, their answer, whatever their answer is, might be something we don't care about. No, I guess it's... They might try to counter the high tide. Oh, that's sad.
I mean, we got like six mana if we did if we did that high tide. Yeah, yeah. I I, I think John's right. Like we definitely should have played Mox first. I didn't even consider the Mox as as a, as a high tide. Oh god. See, I'm really bad at playing Storm anyway. So. Seems good. <laughs> so they didn't have it. That's unfortunate. So long, a little Electromancer. I mean, it's actually, I'm actually tempted to brain freeze here. And if they counter it, I mean, well, it's got Storm, so like, it's like still gonna mill like a million cards. Wait, are they, what's happening? What? Now I'm pretty sure I just brain freeze them for, for six and they go to two cards. What? Yeah, I'm definitely brain freezing them. Because now we have Yawgmoth's will. Why would they do that? Okay, <laughs> I was like, what? Why, yeah, I'm like, why do you get spell pierce and then just tap out? I don't understand, that was wild. I mean, now I kind of want Inquisition just to know if we can see it. That was something, man. I was not expecting that nonsense. Oh, we were gonna play one more land, weren't we? Yeah, okay. I'm in for that. Uh, what's our record? Our record is 1-0, and we are going to game three here. <sighs> Take chart of course out. <sighs> I don't hate this hand. It's a little slow, but it's got some things that we like. Like, their deck is actually not super fast, and that's, that is a thing. Sure. Ooh, interesting. Got to get that juicier here. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. And we're definitely going to hem them first. We can, I mean, like, we can't hem them after Wheel of Fortune, so. Do we play Mox Emerald to play around Spell Pierce? I kind of think so. If that one storm count ever matters, then I'll really... I'll feel bad, but until then, I'd rather make sure my spell resolves. Okay. Okay. Yes. Get the juicier. That's what I, I've worked for that my whole life. I've always tried to get the juicier and it, it's always been a problem for me. They discarded Jitte and then they randomly discarded not the best. 
not juicier, but juice, juice, juicer, juicer. What's happening right now? Get, gotta get that juicer. I don't know what's going on right now. This is wild. So what? One, two, three. So this is three plus five. I mean, this is 100% go time, right? Like, this is as go as we can get. No, it's not. Mm, yeah. Maybe it is, right? Rit? No, we don't have enough blue and we don't have enough blue and red here. So that's unfortunate. We have to wait till next turn. No, we actually. Ugh. It's not. It's, it's, I don't think we can do it. We have to use one of the red to seething song. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we can net. We can. We can have five mana if we can. We can just time spiral. Oh, we don't have blue mox in hand. This is a mox emerald, not a mox sapphire. Just so you guys know. Or no, my, my point is that we can't play seething song and dark ritual, and still time spiral. Like we can wheel of fortune. So what is this? This is one, two, three. This is five mana. This is three mana. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. We net six, but we don't have a lot of... Actually, I guess we have six mana left over. If we just want to Wheel of Fortune. That seems fine. All right, whatever. Oh, I see. Three, four. Five. Oh, boy. Getting the vapors. So if we go high tide mana flare, then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we have no mana left over, but we're at 20, which is pretty okay. We played a land this turn. That's good to know. Alternatively, if we just go mana flare here, we have one, two, three, four, five, I mean, Mana Flare helps them, but I'm, I'm, ideally they're not getting another turn, so that's where I'm at right now in my emotional state. I mean, we can't cast Yogg and also have Turnabout Mana. I'm pretty sure, right? Like, we have three, four, five, six, seven mana here. If we use three of it to Mana Flare, we net like one mana. We're gonna bargain, but I'm trying to see if I can get rid of these first. And I can. Like, if we go high tide and then use this for... Like, this is going to produce two. This is going to produce three. Like, we just... High tide pays for itself with the island. That's that's a given. Like, it pays for itself now when I tap the island. This is three, four, five, six, seven. If we mana flare, we're netting one more mana, I think. Because this costs three. No, we're, we're losing one. So that's interesting. So, I mean, we have seven mana. We just have to figure out, like, what are we keeping up here? Like, we can get LED. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Oh, man. If we can get... Oh, so wait. Hold on. We have one blue. If we can get Lotus Petal and... Hmm. Brain freeze. LED. Inquisition. My hand is too big. 
desperate rich. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh goodness. Um, if we can hit Lotus Petal, it's actually pretty good, right? Is this a joke? One more card. Oh my God, really? We're at one? Holy smokes. <sighs> well, that's pretty hilarious. All we need to do is hit Lotus Petal and it's in the last four. Wow, that's amazing. Like we can crack LED, but it doesn't like Yogmoth's Bargain and Lotus Petal are in the last four cards. Like uh, you cannot LED on the stack and then freeze someone. Your hand goes away immediately. It is part of the cost. That's insane. If I could play one more land, like this would be wow. Yep, there's like nothing we can do here. That's insane. <laughs> and there's nothing in the graveyard we can play. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely there's definitely an argument to me where like if we hit once we hit LED, we could have cracked it and then played whatever we have drawn after that. I, I wish I could remember where we did it, but yeah, I think that's game. Cool. Next card, Island, followed by Lotus Petal, followed by Yogmoth's Will. Wow. Second and third cards in the deck. Uh, we don't have Flare. No, you get one less mana because we have two lands. Each one produces one additional mana, so that's two, that's two mana. It costs three mana to play it, so you're actually losing one mana. Yep. All right. Well, I mean, I mean, when the last when the last three cards in your deck include Yogmoth's Will and and Brain Free, I mean, like we literally needed Yogmoth's Will there. No, I guess it wouldn't have mattered, right? We couldn't have cast the Yogmoth's Will. We needed Lotus Petal. Lotus Petal would have actually was the only card we were looking for. We play Lotus Petal, and then we Brain Freeze them. So, I mean, I don't even think we flew too close to the sun. Like we 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 tried to win the way we could win, like. I think it was very unfortunate that Lotus Petal was one of the last three cards in the deck. But. I think in hindsight, it was definitely a better strategy to crack. Crack Lion's Eye Diamond for three black. Look for. Um, look for Lotus Petal and and Brain Freeze. And then like play, play those. Because like that just, I think that would have secured our victory a little bit better. I think we did have brain freeze in hand when we, when we lion's eye diamond though. So, all right. Let's see if we can recover. I mean, never, I mean, like, all, all that aside, like, the deck, I think the deck is still performing quite well, so. This actually seems fine. I mean, I do need another blue and another black here, but. All right. Hmm. I'm going to be honest, I don't think we're going to counter anything on turn two, so. Famous last words, I'm sure, but okay, that's good. Okay, so now we're just going to play this without revealing the Mox Sapphire. If we can draw a Black Source next turn, that'd be cool, because then we can play Dark Petition, we can Desperate Ritual and Mana Drain. I guess we need one more turn, right? Because we need Black, Black, and then we don't we wouldn't have a Red Source if our, if our played land was a Black Source. Yeah, that's totally fine. I am going to play a mountain here because I do want to make sure that if we draw a black source, I can play that and still keep up Desperate Ritual, Dark Petition. Um, fascinating. 
Ugh, gosh, is throwing Dynamo worth countering? Not really. We can just counter whatever they play with that. And also, like, it's not a threat. And we don't have a way to capitalize on the mana drain mana right now. See, that I have to counter because that is... Come on, Black Source. Come on, Black Source. One time. Green, green Source. Too bad. Literally nothing we can do. <sighs> uh, wondering about the reasoning for trying to go off that turn. Um, it, I mean, it felt like we had it. Plus, like they have counter spells. Like if they tap out, they we, we saw multiple counter spells that spell Pierce uh, commits a memory. So like if they have they have pressure on the board. Um, so they don't need to actually play anything else. And if they can untap with four mana, some of which is blue, then, you know, our odds of going off go down significantly. So again, like if this was a, if this is a black, um, mox instead of a, a blue one, significantly different game. I mean, yeah, like we're at 20 life and everything, but like that, that's not taking into consideration like the, um, this old fucking chestnut again, huh? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Seems good. Hyogmoth's will. Okay. Okay. Well, our hand is all set up for for some kind of shenanigans at, at some point. <laughs> oh, good. You're playing the... We're both playing decks that make everyone hate them. Hate, each, hate, hate us? Hate each other? Oh, they're going to resolve something fancy. Sure, that's fine. Black Source literally puts us in the game I think never mind just kidding is it dark petition over Yogmoth's will dark ritual why hello Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <sighs> Honestly, I think we're just gonna play Time Spiral here. Yogmas will doesn't really get us any anything great, and I'd rather just redraw the Yogmas will. Cause we're just gonna be playing Desperate Ritual here. Oh, they have no cards in hand, which is super nice. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Do we play a land this turn? Yes, okay. Well, this is pretty sweet. Um, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we're just cracking this now and then drawing infinite. Um, let's get three black with it. Solid four cards. Oh, <laughs> well, that'll do. Actually, we can wait on that, right? No, because we're going to have to crack our hand, right? So might as well do it now. One, two. Um, let's get three black, red, 
song. Wow, there's a lot of lands we're hitting. Okay, that'll do. Um, so five. One, two, three. Bowlander, thanks for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. Wow, they're just gonna let the let all the let all the the tendrils do it, huh? Okay, that'll do. Oh, we could have just drawn a brainstorm as well, just in case. Ah. <sighs> Dan's, I have no idea what you're doing in our chat over here, and I'm actually terrified of looking at it. Um, do you have anything that deals with artifacts? Not really. Collector Brutality, like, what did we see? We saw Jace the Mind Sculptor, Tezzeret. Both of those are scary gentlemen. <laughs> and unfortunately, Inquisition and Collector Brutality hit neither of them. Hmm. Easy game, easy game. All right, well... Well, well, well. I think we just keep it like this, but I did want to add the one more land. I actually don't hate bringing an empty the Warrens. I'll take out Gush. It's going to be in our opening hand. Whenever you board something in, it's always in your opening It wasn't in our opening hand. I'll keep this. Oh, no. Well, you got me. You got me. Oh, what? Really? That's interesting. I would have definitely thought it was going to be Yogmoth Spargan here. Yeah, all right. I'm probably just going to tap something down because we want to hit things here. So let's... Uh, actually, maybe not this turn, though. Because a, a lot of their cards cost four. Smokestack... Jace, etc. Another island. This is looking. See, now we're in. Now we're in good times. Unfortunately, they know we have mana drain, but they only have three cards, so. Oh, Lotus Petal. Are they just going to sit there and be like, well, I'll just kill you with these fairy tokens and never play anything into your mana drain? Because I'm going to be honest, that's a wild strat. They have three cards in hand. I really wonder if they have any counter spells. Uh, High Tide nets us one mana here. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five. I mean, we could definitely play these and do that, but I'd rather have more, more mana to really exploit the High Tide. Okay, see, that's probably good enough.
So now if we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So we can actually play Oracle here and then make like 10 goblins. Or do we have enough mana to get to get this going? Probably, right? If they have any counter spell, it's really bad for us though, right? So I think we just I think we just play it safe. They're at 16 and they have a bitter blossom on board. Interesting. Keep LED on top. One, two, three, four. I mean, I don't foresee them having a way out of this, but. Oh God, David, again, like crack pedal for blue is so much better. Yeah, again, like I just, we could have actually played bargain and probably gotten there because then we could have kept mana drain up. Yeah, see, again, like that was just a misplay on my part. But I don't think their deck is going to be ready for 10 one ones. And if it is, it kind of buys us some time because we can just hard cast Yawgmoth's bargain now. Sure. If they get time walk, it's going to be rough. Because they get to attack for four and then five, which is nine. And then we're dead on the following turn. <sighs> <laughs> yep. Sure does love saying it, doesn't he? Yeah, again, if I if I literally cracked this for, for high tide, we would have actually had mana drain up, and that would have been the dif difference in the game. Yeah. Two opposition decks. Seems good. Two opposition decks that literally don't seem like opposition decks, except for the fact that they have, like... What do they tap? Our mana? Fascinating. So they take seven here and then they take more next turn. Sure. Yep, you got it. Everything's tapped down. I just don't know how they win this though, because we have a lot of creatures. They'll have four guys, but if they're busy tapping our lands down, they can't really also play things. Commit to memory one goblin. You got it. Like we're at 10, so we have five power on board and they have a bitter blossom. I would understand. I mean, they can pay six to to commit to memory, which is probably what they have to do here. Yep. Uh, fire seems really good here. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. All right. Like, this is actually an amazing hand. Um, yeah. You got it. Solemn Simulacrum? Lodestone Golem. That's, that makes it worse. How many things are you tapping down here? One. Okay, float it. Floating because we have fire ice here, so. 
float it. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're not going to. They, I don't think they have the luxury of tapping any more things. So we can go land. One, two, three, time spiral. Sure. Hmm. Interesting. So we have one, two, three, four. So we have five total mana. Um, okay, so we just kill them here. Ice, tap this guy down. And then attack you for a minute. <laughs> oh, boy. Good times. Good times. 2-1. Not bad. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like -ums and them subscribe -um buttons. That's really all I want you to do. And, uh... Subscribe on Twitch.tv. It's a great way to support the channel. It's free if you have Twitch Prime. If you're literally watching on YouTube and you don't decide Thank to go you. to Amazon.com or to, to Twitch.tv and subscribe for free, everybody knows we'll be mad at you because I appreciate that sub. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, my dude. I'll see you guys next time.